Hi, so this is going to be more of like a serious just like commentary video where I talk about shit. Uh, there's just been some shit on my mind that I can't get off my mind that I need to talk about and possibly like expose and cancel my friend and his career before it ever began. There's this YouTuber with about like I think four or five times the subscribers I have. His name is Mr. Poplocks. However, I will be referring to him as Clyde the entire time. And basically what I did, what, what happened, it, I'll just give you the entire fucking story. The entire story. So I was, I just created a new Roblox account. I don't know why. My old one, I don't know what happened with my old one. It was 2019. I was just getting into JoJo. And me and Clyde met in a Roblox JoJo game called JoJo's Alternate Universe or JJAU. Where basically all you do there is just create your own stands. And we became we became fast friends. And then we chilled for like a year and then we stopped talking for two years. Fast forward to December 2022. I see that uh, Clyde has, create, has a YBA private server because I was just getting back into YBA. And he had a bunch of friends on there. I decided I'd join the server and everyone there was incredibly nice everyone there was wonderful so it seemed uh pop invited me to a discord server for his yba gang called uber tyrant and i and then after after three months and over three months the over the fucking over the course of three months, I became a respected member of the of Uber Tyrant. Only let me fucking move my webcam. Oh, fuck. How to move my webcam? There. Okay. Hold up. Wait. Good. Good angle there. So basically, what Clyde did, he invited me to the server over the course of three months. I became a respected member of Uber Tyrant, and I eventually became, like, a mod, and then when the server got reworked, uh, I lost mod, I was just a normal, normal average Joe, but who gives a shit, they're fun friends to be with, um, and then April 23rd, I believe, 2022 hits, uh, this is a, a week prior, a new member, or so we a new member, so it seemed, named Marie, a female member, joined the server, and on April 23rd, uh, she just randomly started hitting on me during VC. Um, and so, it was fun. I eventually formed, like, a meaningful relationship with her. We began, like, online dating, I guess, is the word. And eventually, Clyde... Eventually, I find out, a week later, I find out Clyde was just catfishing me the entire time. Like, what the fuck? Why? I get that he gets that, he knows that I'm depressed. He knows I'm suicidal. Uh, but, he didn't, and I just assumed at the time that he wanted, just wanted me to feel loved, I guess. So that I didn't kill myself. Uh, but that's not the right way to go about. I thought that's an, I saw, I thought that's not the right way to go about it. You could do so many other goddamn things, like listen to what I have to say. You could do so many other things. And basically, what he and basically, a couple days later, I beat Mega Man Eleven for the first time, and so I decided to go into the Uber Tyrant. Uh, what's it fucking called? Uber Tyrant. Uh. Uber Tyrant Discord server, since I was a mod at the time, I go into announcements, and I post my thoughts on Mega Man 11. Just some things I liked about the game, things I disliked, things I thought about the game. And I was responded with, it was responded with two people just fucking harassing, just fucking bullying me. Uh, it was not fun. I, I, th I think they were joking, but I have this weird thing where I can't take jokes. Like, it's hard for me to take a joke. 
unless I know you personally and you're like a really good friend of mine, I can't take jokes. Like I have this thing where I can't discern sarcasm from real from what's real. So I kind of just take everything seriously. Unless you're like re really good friends with me again. Um and so I decided fuck this, everyone's an asshole, so I'm going to leave the server. Not everyone there was an asshole. There's a couple people that I'm still there's a there's two people in there that I'm still friends with to these to this day, which that's good. I like friends. I like having friends. And apparently those two got kicked from Uber Tyrant as well. When I got kicked from Uber Tyrant. Basically, I left Uber Tyrant. I decided to talk to Clyde about what the fuck was going on in Uber Tyrant. I told him, I've told him multiple times that I can't take jokes and that I don't can't really discern sarcasm from real life. But he doesn't fucking listen to what I have to say. That's one of his many, many flaws. He does not listen to what people have to say. He does not want to talk things out like a responsible person. Like a responsible 15, 16 year old. I don't fucking know. I don't, I don't know when he was born. I don't know his age. I don't pay attention to that shit. He catfished me. And now, now that I'm here, now, I think he just wanted me out of Uber Tyrant. So he catfished me to try to get me to leave. Which, fucking dick move. Dick move. You could have just talked it out. Said that you can't, you didn't like that I was... He could have just talked it out. Said he didn't like that I can't take jokes. I would have been more responsive to jokes. At, I would have had a more positive response to sarcasm. I would have tried taking jokes more. Instead of doing my usual route of taking everything fucking seriously. Like, so many problems can be solved by just talking it out like a normal person. Anyways, so Clyde do does some delusional shit, pretends he's fucking Zamasu from Dragon Ball Super, and so he's being an asshole. I respond by being an asshole. I'll probably put some screens again. I'll probably put screenshots. Hold up. Looking back, this motherfucker said he took joy in catfishing me. He took joy in it. That should just support my case even more. Up. Of messages between me and Clyde. Uh, from before, or from just me and from just my messages, because I somehow still have his DMs. I'm gonna delete them after. I'm gonna completely remove him from my DMs list after I get all the screenshots. But I still have the uh, DMs for some reason. He was talking about shit like. He was talk. He was calling himself like the spinning image of perfection and shit. He, he was fucking, yeah, he was being, like, delusional, pretending he was fucking Zamasu. Fucking, he's a loony is what he is, he's fucking insane, he needs help, he needs to, he needs Jesus, he needs a therapist, he needs to go to a mental asylum. Shit like that. Like, this man is insane in the membrane. And he was being an asshole, so I decided to respond with him being an asshole. And the cover story for him catfishing me when I originally found out was he was making a Discord account in a tribute to his dead ex who killed herself. And I think that's bullshit. I think he was just bullshitting an excuse. So I decided to use that as a, like, comeback thing. Try to make him feel bad. Try to make him notice the fucking error of his ways. Being an ignorant fuck. He's the one letting me get... He's And he says I'm worse. A couple days prior to this discussion, he, he fucking admitted that he's insane. He admitted that he is mentally insane. And he says, I'm worse? He's the one that catfished me and forced, like, his first friends to, like, publicly harass me, which I'll get to. And I'm worse? I'm the worst one? 
basically, okay. Afterward, after he was just being a, a delusional fuck, I decided I would rejoin Uber Tyrant just for a bit to spite him. So I got a so I got an uh, invite from an IRL friend that I invited to Uber Tyrant way back when when I was a respected member of Uber Tyrant. I got an invite. I joined. They muted me, and Clyde probably just forced all his friends to harass me. Like, they called me names and shit. It, they made, like, stupid-ass insults. Like, what the fuck? Dick move! And basically, what he did, he, di he did that, did that, then I got banned. So I tried talking it out with Clyde again. Tried talking it out like a reasonable person. Tried being the better man. And he just fucking shrugs me off. What the fuck? Hate it. It's so stupid. He doesn't listen to what people have to say. He can't call, call himself the spitting image of perfection when he does bullshit like this. What a fucking loser. I don't want to sound like an asshole, but this guy is a loser. He catfished me. He's a loser in every sense of the goddamn word. So, yeah. I don't know what his deal is. He needs help. He needs Jesus. He needs a psychiatrist. He needs everything. I'm probably going to link his channel in the description of the video maybe so that you guys can like fucking attack him like just go into his comment section and like spam justice for Declan or justice for Speedy or some shit like that because this motherfucker is insane and not in a good way